Amidst the urgency of the climate crisis, the United Nations, the World Bank, and other global bodies are overriding popular sentiment to push through red as part of what they call the new green economy. The multilateral development banks and the world's major financial institutions are already investing millions to pave the way for RED. The RED Plus is one of the best chances we have, maybe one of the last chances we have, to really save our rich biological diversity. RED is a, is a program that's supposed to create this gigantic market for carbon sequestration in trees. Well, who owns the trees? What are they buying when they buy the carbon in the trees? Are they going to restrict indigenous lifeways? Are they going to restrict subsistence? And it turns out that yes, that's part of the plan. There are many, many situations of indigenous lands that aren't, there is no clear title. And so those lands are being rapidly gobbled up already and red threatens to speed up that process even more. É um projeto que vem lá de cima para baixo. Él lo ve como un negocio, nuestra madre tierra, pues nosotros eso no se debe de decir, pues es como, es nuestra madre, no se puede vender. Quien fue entrar no RED hoy está aceitando la propuesta de privatización de los meios natural. Carbon offsets recreates the injustices that happen on a local level for communities that are overburdened by pollution and externalizes those costs to communities that are similarly vulnerable outside of California. Incinerators, refineries, coal power plants that spew climate pollution should not be able to protect a forest and say that their job is done. Jangan istilahnya dilanjutkan. Jangan kita yang dijadikan korban sementara dia cuman mau ambil untungnya. <laughs>